Praise the Lord. Wasn't that beautiful, you know? My brother Paul was, was absolutely excellent. But can I say to Janae that you are just waiting? I was, I was getting a little bit nervous. I looked at um, Lamar sitting there beside the best man. The best man was doing most of his sweating. <laughs> Rather than Lamar, he's as cool as anything. But thanks be to God. I want to greet you all today with an awesome name. The name that is above every name. The name of Christ. And that's why we are able to gather in this manner today. I want to take this moment to welcome you on the behalf of Riley Groom, the mom, Russell, and uh, Janae Cox. Just want to welcome you all today. We pray and hope as you come to share in this day of joy that we are going to have a blessed day. Indeed, we are already blessed. We have a beautiful day before us. When we look and see the, uh, the wind is blowing, but most importantly, the sun is shining. Today, even if the sun wasn't shining, I believe that looking at uh, Janine, she would have lit up the place. And indeed, she's doing that. I, I look at Lamar and he's looking, he's looking like James Bond. The praise of God. <laughs> Good God, thanks. I just want to make a few announcements before we uh, commence and get into the uh, order of service. I want to just remind everyone, please, your mobile phone must be inside. or switch it off. Please uh, ask you to do so for us. You don't want any interruption once we're in the order of service. I'm also saying that we have a toilet just around the back there. And I want to say to all the mothers with a child, please accompany your child to the bathroom. And uh, also remember that we're in unprecedented time in terms of what's happening regarding the coronavirus. I know many of your family, but if you're meeting anyone inside of your family, please remember the social rules. And I see you please to do so for us because we don't want the police coming in here shutting us down. So please, I'm just here to be these for us. Please accompany your child to the bathroom. And also, please make sure that you wash thoroughly. No, I have to tell you because I'm sure everyone knows that. But please do so for us. The only person that should be really walking around once the order of service comes is the person with the camera today. But everyone else, please, we ask you to be seated and give us your full attention. So God bless you today. We indeed, as I said, looking forward to a glorious day. And I believe that this has been a long time coming, but thanks be to God, the day has arrived. And I'm sure that these two young persons are rejoicing in their hearts, uh, you know, that God has brought about this day. And the behalf of the family, and all the friends, and just well the wishes to everyone here today, we continue to lift up these young men in prayer. At this time, we're going to have the opening prayer. We're going to ask this the young Lazarus just to come and pray the opening prayer at this time. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, O oh Lord God, to do a work of righteousness. You said that if a man finds a good wife, a woman, he finds a good thing, O oh Jesus. And Lamar has adhered to that command, O oh God. Today, Father, we proclaim a blessing over their life. We come against every disruption and distraction in the name of Jesus. Father, we speak life and hope and prosperity into their future. We pray in the name of Jesus that you will equip them with everything that they need to, oh God, to live a godly and a prosperous life. We pray in the name of Jesus that the testimony of their life is that they lived well, oh God. Hallelujah. Father God, we proclaim that no weapon that is born against them will ever prosper. We pray, oh God, that they'll be an example to their generation, oh God, not just by what they say, but by the way they live, oh God. We pray, 
Lord Jesus, that this will be another step. Oh God, hallelujah, for them to fulfill the work that you have called them to. Father, we thank you for binding these two young people together. We thank you for the work that you're going to establish through their union, oh God. We thank you that it will bring glory and honor to your name, oh God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, even for the church family that you have planted them in. Father, we pray that you will surround them with good counsel, with wise counsel, with men and women, oh God, hallelujah, with integrity, who have good marriages to speak life into them. Oh God, even when the way seems dark and there's disagreement, Father, we pray, oh God, that it's your word that will have the last say. We pray, almighty God, that Lamar, hallelujah, will be, oh God, the man that loves his wife, that you love the church, and that you will wash her daily with your word. We pray, Lord God, that Janae will honor her husband. God, that she will be submissive to him. Hallelujah. As he leads by the power of the Holy Spirit, oh God. Father, we pray that you will hedge them about in the name of Jesus. We pray harmony, oh God, in their family. We pray for unity and we pray for peace and strength. Father, we rejoice in this day and we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. I think that prayer has castigated the whole life of Lamar and Janae going forward. But of course, they put God before in all that they do. At this time, we're going to have a scripture reading. I miss this, which we really love, but I can't read on these two scriptures. Matthew chapter 19, verse 6, and Ephesians 5, verse 33. Matthew chapter 19, verse 6. Wherefore, there are no more twins, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Ephesians 5, 33. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself. And the wife see that she reverence her husband. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Congregation of the Sunday. With the bride of God, please keep standing. Just so. We are now going to have a song. Great is that faithfulness. Like the rest of the song is sent to us. Amen.
much of that is, it says so much to this song. The Lord is faithful. And great is his faithfulness. I watch the father and the bride coming in, and I love the way that the father was so attentive, the way that he took care of us to make sure that you made it up here without any accident, without any problem. He's, he's, you just want to handle with goods, just perfectly. <laughs> perfectly. So he just made absolutely sure that she got here. I'd love to see a smile on her face. This time we're about to go through the wedding vows. We have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Philemon Russell and Janae Cox, to ask his blessing on them and to share in their joy. Our Lord Jesus Christ was himself a guest at a wedding in Canaan of Galilee, and through his spirit, he's with us now. The scripture teaches us that marriage is a gift of God in creation and a means of his grace, a holy mystery in which a man and a woman become one flesh. It is God's purpose that as husband and wife give themselves to each other in love throughout their, throughout their lives. They shall be united in that love as Christ is united with his church. Marriage is given that husband and wife may comfort and help each other living faithfully together in, the, in need and in plenty, in sorrow and in joy. It is given that with delight and tenderness they may know each other, each other in love. And through the joy of their bodily union may strengthen the union of their hearts and life. It is given that they may have children and be blessed in caring for them, and bringing them up in accordance with God's will to his praise and his glory. In marriage, the husband and wife belong to each other. They begin a new life in the community. It is a way of life that all should honor, and it must not be taken carelessly, lightly or selfishly, but reverently and responsibly, and after serious thought. This is the way of life created and followed by God that Lamar Russell and Janae Cox are now to be in. They will each give their consent to, to the other. They will join hands and exchange solemn vows. And in token of this, they will give and receive a ring. Therefore, on this day when they we pray with them, that strengthened and guided by God, they fulfill the purpose of their whole, of the whole of their earthly life together. But first, I am required to ask anyone present who know of any reason why this person may not be lawfully married to declare it now. The vow you are about to take are to be made in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is judge of all and who knows all of the secrets of your heart. I require and charge you both, as in the sight of God, and remembering your responsibility to him, that if either of you know of any impediment why you may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, you do not confess it. I do solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful impediment why I, Lamar Russell, may not join in matrimony to Janae Cox. I do solemnly declare 
that I know not of any lawful impediment, while I, Janae Cox, may not be joined in matrimony to Lamar Russell. Lamar Russell, will you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? To live together of the God of ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love her, honor, serve, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only unto her as long as you both shall live? Janae Cox, will you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance? In the holy state of matrimony, will you love him, comfort him, honor, obey, and serve him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep him unto him as long as you both shall live? Who gave it this one to be married to this man? Just by you, let us pray at this time. Holy Father, giver of ever perfect gift, we praise you and honor you for all that is joyful and blessed in our earthly life. We thank you for the love which you bind together kindred souls, and especially for the institution of marriage, the tenderness of his time the honor of his estate, and the sacredness of his obligation. And since it is in the heart of these your servant that they should live together in holy way, we will then pray that they may now enter this covenant in faith and fear. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon them, according as their hope is in you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I call up with these person here present. To witness that I, Lamar Russell, do take thee, Janae Cox, to be my lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish. Till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance. And this is my solemn vow. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Janae Cox, do take the Lamar Russell to be my lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance. And this is my solemn vow.
Just by the way, once again, why don't just list these three? For Jesus Christ, by your blessing, that these rings be to the non Russell and to the main cause, a symbol of unending love and faithfulness, to remind them of the vow and the covenant they have made this day. Grant them your grace to fulfill the sacred duty in Jesus' name. I give you this ring as a sign of all marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I have, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you within the love of God. I receive this ring as a sign of all marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I have, all that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you within the love of God. I give you this ring as a sign of all marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I have, I give to you, and all that I have, I share with you, within the love of God. I receive this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you, within the love of God. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Lamar Russell and Janae Cox have given their consent and made their marriage vow to each other. They have declared their marriage by joining of hands and by giving and receiving of a ring. Therefore, I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife, that which God joined together, let no man divide. <laughs> And this indeed is a special moment. I think Lama is going to unveil his bride. <laughs> and, and as I said, this is a very special moment. And I'm, I'm not just going to let you eat the fruits immediately. <laughs> but I would like you. I would like him to kiss his bride and go forehead. Can you do that for me? Just kiss his bride and forehead. Forehead. <laughs> <laughs> now I would like you to kiss your bride and her nose. <laughs> and now you may eat the fruit. <laughs>
There are some times when did Brian just take the limelight, the glory, and indeed that's what she has done today. But Lamont is just really looking dashing, really looking future today. I give God thanks for this time, and we're not going to be here too long because uh, we really try to get things done as quickly as we can. So I just want to pass out a word of encouragement to them both. Myself and many of you today, many of you today, I've been married a long, long time. I've been married over 42 and more years. Well, well. And it's still going strong. Yeah. And you know, there is a there is a reason for that. And normally we say that don't get mother-in-law and get whoever sister brother involved in a marriage. But there must be one person that is involved in your marriage. In actual fact, in everything that you do, you've got to put God first. And I, and I know today that both of you are God-fearing individual. Ever since Lamont came into this church, I have just taken a liking to him for whatever reason, but my spirit just taken a liking to him. And so today I know that there is something very special in this young man. And Janae has made the right choice in terms of the law. Put your hands together. Let's acknowledge it. You see, when we wait on God and put God first, then God will always, always give us the very best. And I believe today, Lamar, you'll be giving the very best in terms of Janae. There's no doubt about that. Janae, she's coming from, she's coming from a wonderful family. And we celebrate that fact. One of the things that I always say when anyone comes to me as a pastor and asks me about man, one of the first things I look at, I say to them that you should look at, is the family. It is important that you look at the family. Because it's, it speaks volume about the influence on the life of that individual. It really does. But can I say to you that even marriage that is made in heaven have problem? Isn't that right? Listen, I know. When God put Adam and Eve together, that was a marriage made in heaven. Wouldn't you say that? Because God bring them together. But look what has happened. Look what look what happened between them. So I say that to say this that within every marriage there's gonna be difficulty, no matter no matter what you do, because both of you are two imperfect individuals. We are falling humanity, and it means that we all have a way. No matter how beautiful and how wonderful you look, and, and you know, and things about you, but you have flaws. We all have that. The problem is okay, how do you deal with the, with problems when it does arise in a marriage, which it must, which it will do. Within every marriage, there's going to be a clash of wills. Janae has a will. Lamar also has a will. Like we all are seated here today, we all have wills. And we have grown up, okay, just doing what we will. But here it comes that both of you must now come together. And that means that there are times, okay, when the true will is going to meet. What must happen, I would say to you both, is that both of you must get rid of your will. Lamar needs to get rid of his will. I don't know whether you're strong will, whatever, no, I don't know. I don't know whether Janae is strong will either. But it's got to come to a place, okay, where you get rid of your will, Janae get rid of her will, and both of you find the will of God. Because if you find the will of God for both your life, you're going to find, okay, that your marriage will indeed last. And God, Sister Dina quoted just before she, um, she prayed, in Proverbs 18, in Proverbs 18, verse 26, it said, Who should have found it a wife? Find what? A good thing. Now, in actual fact, there is another interpretation that he said, Who should have found it a good wife? Find it a good thing. Now, now I remember when I was seeking to get married, uh, uh, the, the, the pastor, the bishop said to me, Listen, take a wife and pray. Take a wife and pray. 
That's what he said to me. Because he knew that there, there, of course, there is going to be disharmony. But whenever there is a clash of will, you must remember that you have a choice. You have a choice of either harmony or war. And both of you have got to determine what it is. Now, remember that love also is a verb. I, I say this to say that, okay, that you can love anybody. Yes, you can. I see. I've seen some some woman okay who married to a man who are looking. I said no way. Love is blind, as they say. So it's not about looks. And you're able to literally love anyone if you put your heart and your mind to it. Do you know one of the reasons why a marriage does not work is work because one of you don't want it to work. If both of you want it to work, you will find the solution to whatever the problem is. But it's because one of you don't want it to work, but it doesn't work. And can I say to you that love is like a road okay, that has bends, it has uphill, it has downhill, it has desert moments. But I say this to you today, let love be the master key. And if love is the master key, believe me, you are able to open any door. Any door is a problem. Any door is a whatever it may be, you are able to open any door. So let love be the master key. And remember, today is beautiful, but believe me, the time indeed will come when there will be problems. But remember that God is in the midst. And with God on your side, you are able to overcome. Amen. God bless you both today. We won't be here too long. We have the sign to register at this moment. So I'm just going to ask Did you sing beautifully? Yeah. Put your hands in front of you. He sang beautifully. I, I, listen, I was so moved. I was so moved when they were walking into that song that I, I felt like doing it again. <laughs> Excuse me for all. So this time the bride and groom is going to be to sign the register. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Amen, amen. I'm just going to sing a few songs. Please do join in another song. Uh, I know it's a wedding, but we're still in church. Amen. And we want to invite the presence of God to sanction this marriage. Amen. You are our
There's a word I'm looking for. Not HD, but there is another word. High. High definition. In color today, I present Mr. and Mrs. Russell.
No matter what life may bring, I'll be by your side. No matter what you face, you won't be lonely. This is my promise to you. My love is everlasting. You can count on me to be there always. Cause forever.